Hi everybody. So today's version or episode of what to do with the piece of furniture. There's the furniture. So I um, stained it and it's already been sanded. I stained it two coats of the white um, wood stain. And this middle room is what I call my office. And it's also kind of a mess. This is what happens when you don't have open studios to clean your space up. So this is the space where the um, press is. I have a press here and another one here. And these are working uh, letterpress machines. I'm gonna call them a machine, but the machine kind of means that it has a motor. These do not have motors, everything is by hand. This first one here closest to us, that's a proof press, which means you ink what you're doing and you get one copy and then you have to re-ink what you're doing. The other one over here Oops, sorry about that, right there. That one is, um, it's a little Chandler press and that's the brand. You can see my other Bettys and things. But anyway, so here we are inside the office area. This is where I have all my flat files for papers and prints that I've made. Um, there's sewing station in the back and books, papers, supplies. This is a piece of work that I did back in the year 2000, long time ago. And it was when I was at an art residency in Florida with a painter named Bryce Marden, B-R-I-C-E-M-A-R-D-E-N, Bryce Marden. Um, we'll talk about that another day sometime. Okay, more flat files here and then of course my bookcase with all of my art books. Now I have um, thinned this out quite a bit recently. Um, I, I don't tend to look at the work anymore or the books unless it's a resource book. So I have quite a bit of art magazines here and I have how-to books. I keep getting my finger in the wrong place, right here. Those how-to are all about origami because as you know, as you can see right next to it, that those that was my um, prototype for the big piece that I showed you the other day, right? And then just some sketchbooks, and again, art books with artists, and some resources. Okay, so moving along over here, um, my work in the front room, that's part of the front room. This is also my work, these three. And then we go to work that I've collected. Uh, this piece by Vince Coates, C-O-A-T-E-S. He was a classmate of mine, and Vince died about two years ago. One of the most generous artists I've ever had the pleasure to know. And I am getting choked up because he was really a remarkable man. This is a series of prints, and I'm sorry for all the reflections that I bought while I was in the UK by a young artist named Sarah Hopkins. They remind me so much of uh, Richard Serra and Richard Serra's work, S-E-R-R-A. Above that, three small pieces by a local artist, and I am really embarrassed to say that I cannot recall his name off the top of my head. So anyway, I'm digressing. The point of all of this, you can see me in the reflection. Hi! Um, the point of all of this is to say that this is now finished. I'm going to put the drawers on it and the handles. Um, and then I'm going to sit with it for a few minutes to decide where is the placement that I want to put it because that is everything for my visual eye. Okay, thanks. Ciao. Bye-bye.